At the Mason Temple in Memphis, Tennessee, he delivered a speech that will go down in history. A booming oratory of imagery and metaphor, making the case as he had many times before. Our nation had not honored its creed, he did contend. Be true to what you said on paper, he'd sternly recommend. A drum major for justice, he knew the day would come when all would drink from the well of prosperity, not just some. So the voices kept singing, we shall overcome, fixing a steadfast gaze on just such a kingdom. A drum major for peace, the baton showed the way, nonviolently marching on, come what may, humbly accepting that his own battle-wearied feet would not likely this great journey complete. For the angels had granted him his righteous due, a reaffirming glimpse from a mountaintop view. Bending towards justice, the path did traverse to a paradise down the arc of the moral universe. In his last address, the vision from the angels he did invoke. I might not get there with you, he prophetically spoke, but I want you to know tonight, he continued with willful command, that we as a people will get to the promised land. That fateful next day he met his untimely demise, that galvanizing baton would never again rise. But not before it had long blazed a visionary's trail, toward a righteous destiny mankind shall one day avail. And so I shall remember him as he hoped we all would, as a drum major for righteousness, resting in eternal brotherhood.